Had you good cause to risk this danger? My purpose was to prove my agility and my courage. I had hoped such qualities were already yours. I sought to test them. For yourself or them? Is it not better to see yourself truly? than care about how others see you. Yes, Master. How welcome to Sphere Day, which is all about your ego and how, if you let it get out of control, it will basically cause you to lose in the Forex markets. Now, your ego is basically your self-esteem, and you have to forget your self-esteem when you come in the Forex markets and do what is right. Now, I started this video with a short clip there from the old TV series Kung Fu and the master was making a very important point. Kane didn't need to organize that fight. He did it for his ego to make himself feel good but it had no real purpose. Now when you come to Forex trading um, you, you basically have your ego and your self-esteem and you, you actually have to forget about your ego and your self-esteem because it doesn't matter in Forex trading, okay? And now, why I say it doesn't matter is, if you allow it to dictate your trading decisions, it will inevitably make you lose. And your self-esteem basically is your obstacle to success. And to give you an example, you know, traders, yeah, they come in the market, they have unrealistic expectations about how many trades they're gonna win, okay? So they, they want to win as many as possible. So they'll basically run losses because they don't want to look stupid and take a loss. It's a dent to their ego. And, you know, they'll let those losses get out of control. Then on the other side, when they've got a profit, to make themselves feel good, they'll snatch the profit early just to get a profit. Now, their egos are in the way here. They want to win as many trading signals as possible and feel good. Uh, but what they do effectively is they end up cutting their profits uh, and basically running their losses, which is not the way to make money in Forex trading. Yeah, by trying to maximize yeah, how many times they're right, they're actually ensuring that they're gonna lose long term. And yeah, traders continually do this, and they always will. They can never detach their egos out. If you want to come into Forex trading, what you have to understand is um, the market is going to make you look stupid and try and hit your ego hard if you let it. Um, it's gonna make you frustrated at times. It can make you feel angry if you let it. You don't actually have to let the Forex market do this. Now the Forex market basically is all powerful. Um, there's nothing you can do to fight it, but it can reward you. Okay, so what you have to do is look at yeah, how the great traders make money. They'll probably win only on, let's say, 50% or less of their trades. They'll probably have, you know, a month or two of drawdown at times when nothing goes right. This is the top traders, so that will happen to you. Um, but it doesn't matter because, you know, obviously the professional trader has got his eye on the long term. He knows it's short-term pain to get a long-term gain. Now, the short-term pain in, in terms of yeah, keeping losses small is actually the route to profits. So if you actually take a loss and, and keep it small, you're actually doing the right thing. If you keep your eye on the bigger picture, which is your long-term profits, then you, know, you can see those losses in a different light. They are literally the route to profits. And if you've got a, a trading strategy with a trading edge, you know, you, you, you've got to have confidence in it and follow you know, your profits, you know, keep them in the market. If your trade looks good, don't cut it early. You know, if you're keeping your losses small, you need those profits to basically overcome your losses. So you just hang on to them until your trading um, system tells you otherwise. 
Now, if you look at any business, um, a business has an overhead. That overhead is losses, okay? Doesn't matter what business is, the business it is, it will have, you know, an overhead of lighting, heating, staff, you know, vehicles, whatever. Um, successful businesses just keep their overhead as low as possible and try and maximize the income from their sales or service on the other side. It's exactly what you do in Forex trading. Your overhead to a degree uh, is your losses. You're going to have to take them. So keep them as small as possible. And if you do that, you're inevitably going to get you know big trends that will run in your favor. And if you're confident in what you're doing, you can run them to cover your losses. Now, your ego itself doesn't matter in Forex trading. The only person who knows about your trading or should know about your trading is you. Now, I do see a lot of traders make the fatal mistake of trading together or in competitions or you know, telling their friends and family what they're doing. I, I honestly think that's all a distraction. No one needs to know about your Forex trading but you. You know, you have the pressure of your family asking how well you were doing and then having to tell them you're not doing so well at a certain moment in time or giving trading decisions to people that they, they then get them wrong. Um, but you see traders do this a lot. They just want to share. You know, we live in a very social world. And they want to share their trading experience. Trust me, it's a huge mistake. Um, I don't generally tell anyone what I'm doing in my own trading account. And yeah, I don't think any other trader should either. You know, it's, it's my personal business. I don't want to be distracted by other people and I don't need their opinion. Um, and I don't give my opinion, you know, to other traders. Um, you know, what you do, you, you, you do off your own back, basically. So I think, you know, that when you come into Forex trading, always remember your ego is going to basically be there. And it will be there always in the background. You just have to keep it under control. So if you've got a strategy you're confident in, you know, and you realize that losing in the short term is the route to winning in the long term, I think you're halfway there. And then all you've got to keep in mind is that you've got to run those profits. Okay, Never snatch those profits early. You have confidence in your trading system. You can do that. And yeah, Forex trading, I'd say in conclusion, it can be frustrating if you let it, um, but just don't let it be frustrating. You know, Just keep your emotions out of your trading. And if you can do this um, with a simple strategy, maintain your discipline, look to the longer term in terms of profits. Your ego in the short term doesn't matter. In the longer term, it'll get a boost from the profits in your account. So thank you very much for watching me. Take care. Have a good day.